This case is not complicated. It's really very simple. Julian Assault is a journalist who set up WikiLeaks to expose bad things being done by bad people around the world. It's good that they're exposed as it means that good people like us stand some chance of stopping those bad people. WikiLeaks and everything that Julian did is all perfectly legal. But it made him some very powerful enemies. In particular, the US government. And in particular, when Julian released all the dirty secrets of the CIA being able to hack into computers all over the world and completely undermine the democracies of countries they wanted to influence. This all earned Julian a very powerful enemy called Mike Pompeo, head of the CIA, whose extremely nasty nature can be summed up by a video on YouTube, which you can watch and judge for yourself. And on that video, he says, and I quote, we lie, we cheat, we steal. We had a trial like training courses on it. That's what Pompeo says. Well, let's contrast that with Julian's best quotes. Can you turn it round? War, Julian's best quote is, wars are started by lies so they can be stopped by truth, end of quote. And of course, by the truth, it really means all the thousands of truths that WikiLeaks reveal. In a way, those two quotes sum up which side holds the moral high ground in all this. Julian, whose sole motive is to make the world a better place through exposing evil, or the USA, whose foreign policy is to lie, cheat, and steal around the world, and do far worse things than that. And please don't think I'm anti-American, as the American people are totally different from a madman like Pompeo, who are dictating American foreign policy, and who have completely lost their moral compass, and certainly don't want good people like Julian, exposing their awful behaviour. I add that Julian and WikiLeaks are not against the USA, as they expose the wrongdoing of many other countries around the world, and also corrupt corporations doing bad things, like dumping ships full of toxic waste off of Africa, which only stopped when WikiLeaks exposed it. Anyway, let's have a look at this so-called legal case against Julian. The central allegation, right from the start, is that a person called Thordeson said Julian hacked government secrets. Well, if you Google Thordeson lied, you will find that Thordeson has now admitted he lied. And it turns out the Americans bribed him to lie with an immunity from prosecution agreement, a signed one, for all his pedophilia. That's their central witness. Because they don't want Thordeson in the witness box, they've added on a load of other bullshit charges. But that was the central witness. And another reason, for more than three years, the USA video recorded all the soldiers' meetings with his lawyers, which is totally illegal, and is normally grounds for dismissal of the And the third reason is that all the supposedly impartial judges in this trial. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And a third reason is all the supposedly impartial judges in this trial have substantial conflicts of interest. For example, one is a very close friend of the UK politician 
who masterminded a soldier's seizure from the Ecuadorian embassy. And a fourth reason is the UK to US, the UK to USA extradition trade states very clearly, and I quote, extradition shall not be granted if the offence for which extradition is requested is a political offence, which obviously it is. Any one of those four reasons is a legally valid reason for the dismissal of this case. If this totally corrupt establishment behind me were doing what they should be and upholding the law. I add that there are many other strong reasons for this case to be thrown out, such as on Julian's fate, Hence the future of the free press. And the free press is the basis of democracies all around the world. So I'd like to end, and I hope you're all going to Google Thoughts and Live. If any policeman at the end of this day, ask every single policeman if they know who Thoughts is or if they're going to Google him. Because we, in effect, are the ones upholding the law. Most of them haven't heard of Thoughts. Hey, hello. So I'd like to end by saying it's an absolutely disgusting sham of so-called justice going on in this sordid little kangaroo behind me. British justice will stand for nothing around the world if this court doesn't today. Free! Jan Assange!